In the meadow we can build a snowman And walking in a winter wonderland Hey Penny, what oh. are you singing? I thought Christmas was over. Oh, well hey Miss Janelle. Well yes, Christmas is over, but it's January and it's time for snow. I love snow. Snow angels, building a snowman, and snowball fights. Hey yeah! Oh, whoa, the kids out there can't see us if we throw snow at them. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I just get really excited about playing outside in the snow. But do you wanna do you wanna know what I like when I come inside? Uh, warming up with a nice cup of hot cocoa? What a great idea! I was thinking about warming up by the fire and then having my mom or dad tell me a story. They are always telling me great stories while I get comfy under a blanket. Stories are so great, aren't they, Penny? Oh, yeah. But did you know that Jesus was a great storyteller, too? Oh, really? I always like to hear stories about Jesus, but I'm not sure I've ever heard one from Jesus. Well, it's true. Jesus tells us stories in the Bible called parables, which are stories that teach us something important that he wants us to know. Oh, well, I'd love to hear one of those about now. All right, well, Penny, put on your listening ears, because here comes our storyteller to read one of those parables now. Oh, I'm ready. Hello friends, I'm Miss Allie, and you know what? I love to read. Stories are the best, and today I want to look at a story from the Bible that Jesus told that teaches us all about God's love. He loves us no matter what. So, are you ready to hear it? If you are, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Great. The story Jesus told was about a father and his son. The father had saved a lot of money. Now, he saved this money to give to his son when he was much older. But one day, the son asked his dad to give him all the money right now. What do you think the dad did? Do you think he gave him the money? If so, let me see a thumbs up. You're right, the dad gave it to him. The son took the money and then he left to go far away from home. And his father was very sad that he was gone. The son took his dad's money and spent it on everything. He bought fancy clothes, he ate fancy food, he spent and spent and spent. He spent his father's money until it was all gone. Can you help me say, all gone? All gone. There was no more money. The son didn't know what to do. He didn't have a bed to sleep in or any food to eat. He was so hungry that he even thought about eating pig food. Everyone say, oh. Yeah. Yes, he was really hungry. The son knew he had made a lot of bad choices and he was so sorry and he wanted to go home. But he didn't know if his dad would let him come home. Since he had nowhere else to go, the son decided to go back home and see if his dad would take him back. He was so sorry for all the bad choices he had made. When his dad saw him coming a long way off, do you think the father told him to go away? No, you're right. The father ran to his son and hugged him. He was so happy to have his son home again. Then he threw a big party to celebrate. Everyone say, yay, the son is home. The son is home. That's how the dad felt. He was so glad the son had come home. The dad loved his son so much, even though the son had made bad choices and spent all the money. You know, friends, I am so glad that we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. He teaches us that God loves us no matter what, just like the father loved his son in this story. So. When I ask, who teaches you important things? You say, Jesus teaches me important things. 
So are you ready? Who teaches you important things? Jesus, Jesus teaches me important, important things. things. That's right. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. And here's where we get to close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for your words and what he teaches us. And may we always be blessed by following these words. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for being such great listeners, friends. We'll see you later. Wow, that was an amazing story that Jesus told. I would be really sad if I left home and didn't have my mom and dad to help me. Well, I'm so glad the son chose to go back. And his dad forgave him for making bad choices because he loved him. Jesus wants us to know that God is like our dad in the story. He loves us so much and he is ready to forgive us when we make bad choices. But we have to ask, talking to God is like talking to your mom and dad. He is always ready to listen. Well, I'm so glad that God loves us that much and that Jesus teaches us important things. Me too, Penny. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. You got it. Hey, do you know what sounds good right now? A cup of warm, hot cocoa. Ooh, with marshmallows, of course. <laughs> Bye, kids. <laughs>